Hello everybody! Welcome to the Wild Garden Farms Kitchen. Today we are making a spicy pain-free salve. So there's just a couple ingredients in this. All are spicy and spiced and warming and this salve is for achy joints, sore muscles, um, arthritis pain, and cramping. So think about all the like the joints and muscles, pains and aches. And this is going to be a really nice herbal medicine for for those those aches and pains. And since we are doing ginger this month, so yummy. Um, I thought let's do an external an external application. So get a double boiler. This is a two step process here. So step one, infuse the oil, and step two, make the salve. So we are gonna infuse the oil right now. So our ingredients here are olive oil, and you can also use fractionated coconut oil, which is a coconut oil that is liquid. It won't solidify at room temperature. Um, but I wanna use, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use olive oil to show you how to infuse the herbs. So we have ginger and we have cinnamon. Again, this is like perfect for fall, for the cold weather, uh, for warming up your hands and feet. It's a really nice massage salve as long as you're being careful, you're not then like touching your eyes. And my friend Mary grew some really hot peppers. I'm just gonna add one in there. I was using cayenne for this, but these are Carolina Reapers, I think. So I'm gonna add one and it's gonna add some serious kick. So I've got the double boiler going over here. I'm gonna do two cups of olive oil and I'm gonna turn it down. Olive oil has a low smoke point. So we don't want it to scorch and denature the olive oil here, but we're just gonna give it some good glugs, two cups. And olive oil is a really nice oil to use to absorb all the qualities and characteristics and smells and just goodness from these plants. We're starting with ginger. So ginger is incredibly anti-inflammatory. It supports the immune system. It is warming. It draws blood and circulation to cold and stagnant areas of the body. It's a driver herb, which is really cool, which means it takes other herbs exactly where they need to go in the body. So I'm gonna do about a cup of just roughly chopped fresh ginger. I'm just gonna throw these are whole cinnamon sticks. Let's see if I can break them. There we go. Three cinnamon sticks in there. Maybe four, we'll do a fourth just to add some extra spice. All right, now be careful with your peppers. You can use a fresh cayenne or any spicy pepper. You can use red pepper flakes. You can use powdered cayenne. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. And I'm just gonna put them in there, in their hole. I know these are super duper spicy. So the way that this salve works is you put it on, and the warming characteristics of these plants, it helps to draw blood to the area like I've talked about before, and it also helps to bring pain relieving so the body goes, uh-oh, it's something hot, it's something warm, and so it sends pain relieving chemicals to that spot. Now, it's not gonna be too spicy that is, it is uncomfortable for you, um, but it's just warming, and the body goes ahead and sends those pain relieving chemicals to the spot on your body. So it helps to increase circulation and to warm up that part on your body and to also bring, we're gonna keep an eye, you're gonna wanna keep an eye on the water in the bottom of the double boiler and refill it if you need to. I would check in every 10 to 15 minutes or so. So we're gonna let this infuse for an hour and I'll be back to show you step two. We are back. The oil has been infusing in the double boiler 
I let mine go a little bit longer, about an hour and a half, just because I had things to do. And then I turned it off about mm, 20 minutes ago just to let it cool down a little bit before we strain it and I'm squeezing it out. When you are pouring oil from a double boiler, especially for a salve, it's really important to wipe off the bottom because there's a lot of water that's on the bottom and we don't want any water in the oil or in the salve. It can cause it to mold. Look at that color. We've got the ginger and the cinnamon and the cayenne. Y'all, my house smells amazing. And I have here a bowl, a strainer, and this is a nut milk bag. You can also use a cheesecloth. And I'm just gonna pour the oil into the nut milk bag. And it's nice to have a little, a little strainer there to, to catch the bag. Okay super cinnamony and gingery and I'm just gonna squeeze this out now I gave it a little bit to cool down so my hands weren't burnt away by the spice and the heat all right so I'm giving that a good squeeze okay setting that aside look at this gorgeous color you guys my hand is already warming up from the herbs i can feel i can feel the blood rushing to my hands that's kind of cool all right so here i measured out about a half a cup mm, that smells so delicious um about a half a cup of beeswax now i have this raw and natural it is filtered but it still has that smoky flavor to it which I really love. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup there. It was about an ounce and a half by weight. And then I have about, let's see if this will make about a cup and a half. Oh wow, we got, we got a lot of oil out of that. All right, so I'm gonna add almost two cups. We had a little bit more oil than I expected. I'm gonna add just a little bit more a little bit more beeswax. This is all just gonna melt down and I'm gonna keep my eye on it. It won't take long at all. And then we will have our salve. This is the simplest way to make a salve. Beeswax infused oil, done. Um, I like to add a little bit of vitamin E in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour in a little bit herbs the coconut oil the vitamin e really nourishing for the skin and it also helps to preserve the salve so i have a bunch of like kind of leftover jars i have some little half pint jars some little one ounce jars you want glass anytime you're pouring using a salve or pouring anything hot into a container you always want it to be glass or ceramic or something like that um, so I have a couple jars here and so remember we have the cinnamon and the cayenne and the ginger that are very warming so it's perfect for fall and winter aches pains muscle sores and cramps all of these get the blood flowing get your circulation moving 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 and help to draw out toxicity from the body and really move it out so this is almost melted here. And so it's got that fall, like spicy smell to it, but also that smokiness from the beeswax. This is really lovely. So the one caution is it has cayenne in it. So you need to be careful um, when, you, when you put it on your body with touching your eyes, putting your hands in your mouth. So I would just, you know, put it on your joints or use it as a massage oil, like rubbing in your muscles, and then just go wash your hands or wipe your hands down. I can still feel in this hand, um, it's warm. I can still feel, let's see if it's a little bit red, the blood rushing to the area. So it is, I mean, it's potent. So keep away from children and use it when you're like prepared for using it when you're ready. Just waiting for the, the beeswax to melt down. And if you wanted to put some essential oils in the jars, you can. This would be the time to do it. Let me turn that down for a sec. Right before you're pouring it in. So here's what I'm gonna do. 
So when you're using a double boiler, it's always a good idea to wipe off the bottom. It's going to be wet and we don't want any of that uh, water in our oils. It could, could spoil it. So here is the melted oil and beeswax, that gorgeous color from the ginger and the cinnamon and the cayenne. And I'm just carefully pouring it in these containers. Leave it to sit and harden. It should be cooled. I don't know, maybe about 20 minutes or so. These make really great gifts. Good to have around just in case, you know, you want to ask for a massage or you're feeling sore after the gym or, you know, if you have really cold hands and feet, give yourself a little hand or foot massage with this. Oh, it's almost perfect. How much do I love it when the containers and the jars perfectly measure the amount of liquid or herbs. It's just one of those things that makes me happy. All right. So I will leave these to cool and harden on the countertop. Yeah, like 20, 30 minutes or so. And then I'll put the lid on and store them in a cool, dry place. Super simple. Have fun. Infuse away. I mean, you could do a lavender rosemary oil. You could do like a rose vanilla. I mean, literally the options are endless. So play, have fun, and I'll see you soon.